One of the powerful tools in Pro Tools is automation. You can use it for writing the level on a lead vocal or adding a fade out on the master so that every track in your song fades out at precisely the same moment or automating the send levels in the course of the mix so there's more reverb on the snare in the chorus of the song than there is in the verses. So all kinds of things we can automate and the process is similar for all of those and it's very easy. You can write automation from the mix window where I am or the edit window. I'm in this same pop song, but I've just hidden all the other tracks except this one that I just made. So I go from auto read to auto write. The button turns red, letting me know that it's about to do something important. I have a counter so that we can see where we are. And I'm gonna make a volume move after I hit play. Hitting the space bar to start the transport and then making a volume move and I'm done. So the button now switches to latch. If yours isn't switching to latch, then go to setup, preferences, and mixing. And in the lower right hand corner, after a right pass of automation, switch to latch. Or you can have it do touch or no change. So let's review those. If you're the kind of person that wants the fader to stay where you left it when you finished your automation pass, then choose latch. If you're the kind of person that wants the fader to stay where it had been before you made the change, then choose touch. So when you're done with your automation pass, let me cancel out of here, then choose automation read. And let's jump to the edit window so that we can see this automation. I'm gonna open another lane on this track and show volume and there's the volume move. Now we can look at it up here as an overlay but this way we can see the waveform up here and the volume move down here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So you recall that I moved it down, moved it up, and then brought it back to about where it had been. I'm gonna add another lane down here and show panning. And this time I'll show you that we can write the automation without actually moving the panner. We can use the pencil tool to write a panning move up or down. That's fairly easy to do after the fact. And you'll notice there are fewer data points in doing it this way than there were in moving the fader system. Now I can go in and draw a line from here to there and erase some of those data points and smooth out this automation so that it's not tying up so much processing power. If you wanna have Pro Tools do that automatically, you can go to the Edit menu and down near the bottom is Thin Automation. So you select some. I'll undo those moves. I want this tool and select that and then edit menu, thin automation. And it didn't do a very good job of thinning. It brought out a couple of data points. In today's computers, there's really not the need to thin your automation. On a simple session, let's say, there's no need to thin your automation. If you have volume moves like this on every track for an entire song and you have 65 tracks in your session, then maybe it's worth considering thinning your automation. So if we want to change that automation over here, we can switch to write. And let me just show you that we can do the same sort of thing in this menu. I'll just make a pan move since that's the one that's up. Pan a little bit. Now I'm writing. Now you see that the red line it overwrote the volume as well. So if you only want to automate particular items, we can enable and disable those. And I'll show you how to do that in the next movie. I'm going to jump to the mix window. If we have the fader for ascend, we have that same ability to automate that sender. We can go to right, back to the beginning. Let's have this be at zero. We'll write an automation move in there, switches to latch. And now if I play it from the beginning, even though I'm not in read, it's still in latch mode, ready for new automation. If I go to read, there's my move. So automating the send levels is just as easy as automating volume panning and other parameters. As of Pro Tools 11, we can record automation during the recording process. All we have to do is go to Preferences, Operation, and check this box. If you want to keep the mic quiet until the singer sings or the guitar player plays, you can automate a mute or a volume reduction. 
and that will just read every time and you won't have to listen to the noise that the talent makes before you actually want to record what they're doing. So in the next movie, we'll look at how we can isolate parameters and automate those.